I am amused as Helena Tim slips a handful of crown nuts into my jeans pocket. At first it all seems strange to me. I cannot understand what this calm smiling woman is up to. She urges me to get rid of anything else, the watch, phones or money in my pocket. It later dawns on me that in the 14 years she has been employed at the Uganda Wildlife Education Center in Entebbe, Helen has mastered the habits of the primates. When the baby chimpanzees are let out, they immediately rush to her. They have learned that Helen is a friend. Like humans, they crave attention, even from me, the stranger. They then search my pockets for treats and take turns courting my attention. I do have some. Oh, you see it. <laughs> Helen Atim Lulua is a Madi from West Nile. She speaks her dialect Madi as well as fluent Luo. Helen is not married, but she is a mother after having adopted two boys now aged 10 and 12. She is a Christian, and the first thing she does every morning is pray. I'm working with dangerous animals. Chimpanzees are dangerous animals, you know. So I pray God to protect me. Before she secured the job in Uwek, formerly known as Entebbe Zoo, Helen was a secretary. After numerous visits to a friend who did secretarial work at the Entebbe Zoo then, and with little persuasion, Helen made up her mind to look after wild animals. She started out as a volunteer and rose to a current position as a zookeeper. The work of a zookeeper may not be as well-paying as some other jobs, but Helen is driven by something deeper than cash. She keeps hope alive, though, that one day she will get paid more for doing what she loves. They should really give us some good money. Yeah, because, you know, keep us working is not easy. After a worthwhile hour spent playing with the chimpanzees, Helen begins to sweat and her breathing is slightly heavy. To a casual observer, a lot of what she does might seem easy and enjoyable, but it is tiresome. <laughs> Helen's work requires a high level of astuteness and attention. Any slight mistake could put her life and that of others in danger. Safety is the most important thing with wild animals, like in captivity. That's why most of the time you see us locking, locking, locking. Yes. In the 14 years she has spent here, Helen has trained and mentored many zookeepers. In fact, many of them look up to her like their mother. The primates are running late for their meal time, so Helen gets to it. Morning breakfast, give them like fruits. She speaks fondly of these primates and she knows each of them by name, not just the chimpanzees, but the patas monkeys and baboons that also fall in her docket. If you don't really have this kind of skill, eh, really you'll find these chimpanzees can really hurt you or they can injure you or they can even come out. We are told that there are 17 chimpanzees at the center, but when I do a head count, I only see 15. We are told that one is new and very young. She is called Sunny and is yet to be fully integrated. The other is a hermaphrodite, has both male and female sexual organs, and the other chimpanzees refuse to accept Kiri, although the female organ is more pronounced. In most cases, uh, they were like attacking her and biting her. So what we do was to remove her from the group. The chimpanzee is called Kiri. Kiri refuses to eat until we leave. Only then does she answer to Helen's calls. Helen's saddest memory is her brother's departure. She is quick to add the loss of one chimpanzee at the center as another low moment. Because that chimp used to really love me so much. If I don't groom him in the morning, he will not go out. When she does retire, Helen has her plan mapped out. I want to get a diploma in air dressing, and then whereby like in future I can even open my school of air dressing. One life lesson that she has carried with her and is instilling in her children. I remember my mother told me that in this world, never undermine a person, whether she's a poor person. Helen does not regret her choice of work. She believes that women should learn to explore, go out and do the things they would have despised or labeled as reserved for men. Don't just be waiting for your husband. Do some work. Josephine Karunji, NTV.